so sorry I missed our uh, beautiful service. Um, as you can hear in my voice, I was not doing well. <laughs> so I chose to stay home, but some of you brought me lovely treats, uh, a lovely Thanksgiving meal from Debbie and Jim, and some pumpkin bread from Linda, and some zinc tablets. <laughs> and soup from Carol and Mike. I got so much food, it was lovely. I'm still eating it. So, yeah, I love you all. Uh, okay, so this theme, today is the first day of the new month, mm -hmm. and uh, today's th uh, the theme of the month is honoring and celebrating the season of light, and uh, today my message is a call for light, a call for light. I've been watching a, uh, a series on Netflix, it, all the decades, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, it's really cool. And, and each one focuses on all the major events that happened um, with each decade. And it made me think about the last decade and all that has taken place in the last decade, particularly in the last three years, um, and just all that's happened and what an interesting time we are in, yes? Um, just such, a, such an interesting time, yeah. And, you know, our light is needed more than ever, um, truly. Truly, truly, our light is needed more than ever. And I believe that all of us, on some level, are called to share that light. Um, I was called to ministry nine years ago. It was like, hey, you want to be a minister? Sure, yeah. No, it didn't quite go that way. <laughs> 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 it wasn't quite like that. But, uh, but, but really, seriously, I think that all of us are called to share in a deeper way. Um, it doesn't have to be this big thing. You don't have to go to ministry school. You don't have to be a practitioner even. Um, you don't have to have all your ducks in a row. You don't have to be this magnificent spiritual guru, right? You don't have to do any of that. I think that we are here at a very important time. That our soul has been called to be here at this time. You think it's a mistake that you are here at this time? No, 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 no. It is not. And so all of us are receiving this call on some level. Uh, we're receiving a call to, to share that light, to be that light, to express, to express all that we are, to express all that we are. I think that all of us are healers simply by the fact that we are emanations of the divine. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. That we are emanations of spirit, that this vast body of, of ocean called God, let's just say, if you could imagine that, right? And we are drops in that ocean. Therefore, we are always connected to spirit. We are always connected to that one, that divine expression that is God. And as God is that healing presence, so are we. So are we. That is who we are. And we think that we're these body suits walking around, these, 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 you know, flesh and blood beings walking around, but we are so much more than that. We are healers. We are healers for our families. We are healers for this community. We are healers for our friends. Just by walking down the street and just who we are as we pass by people, our energy is healing. It is. So it's not as if you have to go and take some classes. And yes, you can. You, a couple years ago, I took Reiki. Uh, Reiki is a, a form of healing energy. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, healing modality. And there's many like that out there. But really, what is, what is that? What is that? If you learn any kind of healing modality like that, really all that it is is you're channeling the divine light. You're opening yourself up to that light and allowing yourself to be an instrument. That's all it is. So, in other words, you don't have to be this exalted being that only certain people have that ability and others don't. We all have it. It's within every single one of us. And so it's recognizing that. It's recognizing that we are these instruments. That we are these instruments and this presence. And it's available to each of us. So first, it's, it's getting that. It's really, really getting that. And opening yourself up to receive that light through you. You know, and, and we talk a lot about prayer in, in our philosophy. We have our practitioners, they're based, our, our practices are based in prayer. And many of us have a prayer practice. I do, many of us do. 
And there are times I know when we pray for someone or we pray for a difference in, in the world, some change or something we want to see happen in the world, and we pray and we send our healing light, and it doesn't change. The person doesn't get well. There's no change. There's no... The results that we want aren't happening. And so then what happens? What happens is we start to question. We start to question our ability. We start to question God. We start to question these practices. And we, we think, well, what is, what is wrong here? I've just spent the last days and weeks and hours praying and holding the consciousness for this person to heal, and they didn't heal. What is going on? Has anybody experienced that? Yes, yes. And, and so could it be, though, could it be that, that the healing that is taking place is in the invisible? We pray for someone's physical healing, and we focus on their physical healing, and we keep focusing on the physical healing, and it doesn't change. Could it be that there's some magnificent healing that is taking place on a whole other level that we cannot see? Absolutely. That's the mystery of God, isn't it? The mystery of spirit that we do not comprehend. We think we comprehend it. We think we get it. But really, we, we can't fully. So a healing is taking place. And this is where trust comes in. And we're not so good at that. Yeah, I know I'm not so good at that. I will admit that. I still struggle with that one. Trusting, trusting the divine unfoldment, trusting that, that I'm praying, I'm sending my light, and nothing is happening. I have to then step back, take a breath, and trust <coughs> that what I'm doing is actually having some impact. Just, just simply by the fact of who I am. And I don't mean me, I mean all of us. We are that divine light. And we are being called to do something greater. We are being called to share that light even more than ever before. Do you get that? Yes. On this planet? And so it's recognizing that you are an instrument. It's recognizing that that indeed is something that pours through you. It's simply by just allowing it and receiving it and opening yourself to it. Now we can be intentional about it, but then we have to let go and let God. We can be intentional and send our prayers and our light to something that we want to see shift, and then we have to let it go. There is a co-creative partnership in this. There is a co-creative partnership where we know and intend and pray and hold that intention and hold our prayers, and then we have to say, okay, God, I hand this over to you. Hand this over. In the one of the last steps in our prayer is release. We release it. We let it go. We surrender it. We hand it over to God and let God do God's perfect work. And it's always perfect, even though in our eyes it may not look perfect. In our eyes it may look like, what the freaking frack is going on? Right? <laughs> But we have to trust that, yes, it is happening. It is unfolding, and it's unfolding perfectly. We get so attached to the results that we want. As humans, we want to control. We want to have the reins and control everything. We're in a society that wants to fix. We're in a society that we want results, and we want it right now. We want it to happen this way, the way I want it to happen. And... As human beings, that's how we operate. But as spiritual beings, if we can tap into that divine light within us, really tap into that, we can let go. We can move into trust. And it's needed. It's needed. Otherwise, we're trying to control everything. We're trying to control things around us. We want things to look differently. We want things to be differently. And when we can let go and let God, peace is present. Love is present. Healing is possible. And so, you know, not everything can be transformed the way that we want.
want it to be. Not everything can be healed in the way that we want it to be. But that's the divine perfection of all that is. That is that powerful force of God. And if we're struggling with trusting and if we're struggling with that letting go, then that's our work. That's our growing edge. That's our growing edge. And we all have it. We all have that growing edge. What is that for you? What is it, that thing that you're so attached to that you can't let go of? God, support me in letting this go and trusting and moving into a place of trust. Support me in being able to do that. Support me in knowing that I am an instrument, that I am an instrument of peace, that I am an instrument of love. What if you walked around in your life and you claimed that, really claimed that, declared that for yourself, what would your life be like? Practicing that, knowing that, feeling that as you walk through your day. You're in the holidays now, you're going to be interacting with families, some of which you adore and love and some of whom drive you nuts. You know, and what if you walked through these coming days and weeks and you knew that you were this instrument. I am an instrument of light. I am an instrument of healing. I am an instrument of peace. I am an instrument of harmony and grace. What do you want to be an instrument of? What do you want to be channeling, opening yourself to that? And letting God flow through you. You know, Jesus knew this. Jesus didn't heal. Jesus just knew he was a channel, and he allowed God to move through him to do the healing, and he trusted that. He never questioned that. But our faith is a little weaker than that. So what if you walked around and just knew that? I'm a channel. I am a channel for love. I'm a channel for healing energy. For, I am a channel. I am a healing presence for everyone I come into contact with. I started a practice recently where when I drive to work in the mornings, and I, I listen to music a lot, and I think you know this about me, and I listen to heart-opening music, and I just love doing that. As I'm driving, and I'm, I'm looking out my car, and I'm passing people, and I will often bless. So I will put one hand on the steering wheel, and my other hand, and I will bless. And I just bless people as I drive by them, and I will say something like, um, May your life be blessed with all the joy your heart desires. And it's a, it's a beautiful practice, and it's something that just came through me, and I invite you all to try that. And to try what that feels like, because what happens when you bless others? What does that do for us? It heals us. It helps us to move into a greater place of love. It helps us to move into a greater place of trust. It helps us to move into a greater place of joy, just simply by doing that. Now, you don't have to do it the way I do it. You don't have to, you know. Um, but, you know, you could be standing in line at King Supers or standing across from the, the cashier at Starbucks or whatever it is. You don't have to put your hands up. It might be, look kind of strange. Um, oh, I'm just blessing you. Uh, but, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, weird lady. Okay. Um, so, but you can certainly send that love from your heart. You can stand there and you can ask for your chai latte or whatever and and as as you're exchanging with them silently say i bless you with all the joy your heart desires i bless you with all the love your heart desires you're in a restaurant you're watching people walk around and, and you you just catch somebody out of the corner of your eye and you send them a blessing so imagine what our world would be like if every single one of us did that if we knew that we were instruments of, of, and channels for this love and this light, and we blessed on a regular basis, we are that. And as you practice this, you will, you will, not only will you enjoy it, but you're going to recognize the healing coming back to you. Because as we give, we receive, do we not? Whatever we give out comes back to us. As we bless others, they bless us. As we give, we get back. As we send out love, love rains down upon us. That is the nature and the law of the universe. It is just what's so. So whatever you are giving back, whatever you are sending out, 
Now, this is also true for judgment, isn't it? <laughs> this is also true for negativity, isn't it? And we can get so caught up in that, this person should be this way, and this person should not do this, and this person should, you know, again, holidays, people, mm -hmm. um, right? So pay attention to that. Pay attention to what you're putting out. Because whatever it is you're putting out is going to come right back to you. So just to be aware of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is our divine nature. It is truly, truly, truly our divine nature to be this healing presence. You will see when you practice it how natural it is. How natural it is. So I took the liberty of changing the words to this. This is a Francis of Assisi. Um, it's been associated with, with St. Francis. Um, it's actually not him. Uh, and that the author is unknown. And I completely changed the, uh, the words <laughs> because I just do that sometimes. <laughs> I can. I you know. Um, so, so we're going to say this together. We're going we're gonna to say this together. Divine Presence, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me share love. Where there is injury, let me share forgiveness. Where there is doubt, let me share faith. Where there is despair, let me share hope. Where there is darkness, let me share light. Where there is sadness, let me share joy. Divine Presence, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in the giving that we receive. Just take a breath. I'm just breathing that in. Yeah. We are those instruments. But it is up to us to remember that, to remind ourselves of that, and to practice it. It takes practice. It takes practice. We weren't born knowing this, we ha but it is who we are. And so it's, it's a matter of practicing it and recognizing that and knowing that, that you are this healing light, that you absolutely are that. I want you right now to look down at your hands and turn your palms so they're facing up and looking at the palms of your hands. And I want you to repeat after me as you're looking down at your hands. These hands are only for giving love and extending light. These hands these are only for giving love, are only for giving love and, extending light. and extending light. I want you to take the hand of the person next to you on either side. And let's say this again together. And as we say it out loud, I want you to really, with your intention, know that your light is within you. That your hands are indeed extensions of love and extensions of light. And as you're holding the person's hand, you are sending that love. It's moving from your heart and it's going down your arms into your hands and it's blessing that person. These hands are only for giving love and extending light. Give your partner a squeeze and let them know that yes, indeed, you know this. <sighs> and so let's uh, let's say our affirmation one more time together. I am here to give love and to extend light to everyone I meet. And so let's moving into prayer. Practitioners, I ask you to stand in high consciousness. Uh, and so right here, right now, just feeling such gratitude for knowing and remembering the truth of who each of us are, that we are indeed that light, that we are indeed that magnificent presence, that healing presence. And I'm knowing that each of us are going out into the world and we are sharing that light. 
and knowing that just by our just by who we are we are that healing presence touching and inspiring and blessing every single person we meet whether it's a stranger or whether it's someone we've known our entire life and so right here right now I'm knowing that this planet in the state in whatever state that we see it in I am knowing that that also there is a healing that is happening for we are called to be here, right here, right now, at this time, and there are no mistakes that our soul is here, that our soul has chosen to be here. And so I am knowing that our light is an extension of the divine, and wherever we go, that light goes with us, and it blesses, and it heals, and it magnifies that divine presence and that divine power. And so I give such great thanks for that. I give such great thanks for, for the opportunity to be here now, to be a healing presence on this planet right now, for, there, for we are called to that. And so I just say thank you. I say thank you, God, for the opportunity to be that healing, to be that heart, to be that love, to be that grace and that harmony and peace, for we are all that. And so we just let this go and we allow it to be. And we just take a breath as we feel that truth deep within us. And we let it go and we trust and we hand it over to God, surrendering it. And so it is. So, so it is. is. To remember who we are Deep inside we're all an instrument of God That's really who we are Don't be afraid to share your light It doesn't take any sacrifice Show them 